in that day for me. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Maul, Molly Maul. AKA, I done cuffed another one. AKA, Mr. Accidental Purchase. And I'm back with another video. I told you, I'm coming for it. I'm trying to be consistent. So, um, let's go through the normal stuff, right? If you're new to the page, hit like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, get an alert anytime a video gets posted. There's a Kyrie collection video in the works. Part one's been recorded, part two is coming up, and we're gonna drop it as a two part series. All good news, all good news. I'm pumped. I had a package. I'll give you one guess where it's from. Did you guess? Oh, yeah. Easy to guess. I don't know what the hell is up with this Just Do It tape and his big ass swoosh on the side of the box. Like, hey, come take me, please. But, yeah, it's a package from Nike, y'all. And we're going to open this bad boy up. But I appreciate everyone who checked out my last video. Last couple videos, actually. The Just Do It is live. I'm pretty sure it'll be at the end of this video as well. And I've got the Kyrie Ecat video, the Concepts pair. So if you haven't, go check those out. Go drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it rolling. Let's open this bad boy up. We got a Kyrie 5 in here. Or do we? Do we? What is this? It's not a Kyrie 5. The hell is this? Just kidding. As the box suggests, we got a Kyrie 5, but it's actually the Nike Air Zoom Vapor times Kyrie 5. So this is the collaboration between Australian tennis player Nick Karios and your very own Kyrie Irving. Um, very interesting parallel between the two. Karios is an Australian tennis player and Kyrie was born in Australia. Kario's favorite team is the Celtics, and I think Kyrie plays for the Celtics. So yeah, pretty interesting dynamic and in how they kind of brought the two athletes together and clashed the, the two worlds. We've seen this before. We've seen the Federer Zoom, the Jordan 3s, and everything like that. And now we see it on the Nike Kyrie 5. So let's take a look at these. There is a Kyrie 5, an actual Kyrie 5 that's in this colorway. All right? It's here, I promise. Not only that, there is a special package with Sneaker News and some of those other blogs and a couple of my friends, Victoria, she posted the media pack that has both the Kyrie 5, the basketball sneaker, and this Zoom Vapor Times Kyrie 5, which is really, really sick. And I'm gonna try to get a little clip going so you can see it if you haven't already. If you haven't already, subscribe to my page, IG Kyrie Features, Kyrie underscore features. I post all my Kyrie content there. First looks, early looks, leaks, everything Kyrie related, you're going to check it out there. And it's probably going to be amongst the first that hits the gram. So go check that out if you're an avid fan of Kyrie. All right, got that out the way. I, I got to plug myself, right? Back to the Kyrie Vapor. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy and let's see what we think. So this is the Kyrie 5 Zoom Vapor. It has a lot of the characteristics that you would see on a Kyrie 5. Safe to say, it's pretty much the upper with the Zoom Vapor outsole. Well, you've got the kind of the patented fly trap there, which the Kyrie 5 is known for. So you can still see that aspect there. White on white upper, white on white fly trap, white on white laces, and a clear lace tip. Black lining all the way around. You've got the Kyrie logo that is on the tongue black nike swoosh on both the lateral as well as the medial side and hiding in the fly trap is the Kyrie signature written in black on the heel you've got the all-seeing eye um, the illuminati eye whatever you want to call it i told you i'm not getting into that um, but that's there in crimson the midsole is white it does have this plastic cover that comes up kind of high and in fact, on this pair, there's some glue stains that hits the swoosh. Not a good job there. You've got this, this plastic cover that wraps around the lateral side. It only goes around the lateral side. You can see on the medial side, it's clean. There's no plastic there. There's a zoom outsole with crimson wrapping around the bottom. So the colorway is actually pretty clean. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, when I saw this, it reminded me of another sneaker. It reminded me of the Under Armour Charge Controller. The, the shape, the color blocking, and I know for me it's always about, you know, kind of Curry and Kyrie and kind of matching those two against one another. And in this case, it's Nike Under Armour and two of their silhouettes. I'm going to show you the picture. You let me know what you think and drop a comment. Do you think they kind of saw some inspiration? Is it happenstance? Whatever, right? The cool part on the outsole here, it's got this clear translucent and it's got the Kyrie logo here as well as the Nike logo with that kind of basketball court baseline look. Same thing that's sported right here on the Kyrie logo. So um, this is intended for tennis. This is not a basketball sneaker. I do not recommend that you try to hoop in these. There's no telling what's gonna happen. But this is a very cool collaboration and a very cool silhouette for uh, for tennis. And you know what, if I was if I played tennis, if I was Nick Karyos and I was balling out there on the clay or whatever it is they're playing on, then I don't want to rock these, so I'm happy to have them. This is marketing at its best, y'all. And this is why Nike continues to win year over year over year. I'm an avid Kyrie fan. I don't play tennis. I can't play tennis. I, I just, it's not in my wheelhouse. I bought these strictly because it's Kyrie. I would never play tennis. I'm not going to play tennis in these, but as part of the Kyrie collection, you know, I felt the need to get them. And color blocking wise, they're not, it's not bad. Uh, I'm a sucker for crimson. I do like that colorway. The upper is a little plain for me, but I don't know. I'm, not that I'm used to it or I expect it, but I could rock these. You know, I could wear these casually. It's a low top shoe, so, you know, we'll see what we can do. I've heard they're very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Someone did mention that in one of my comments, that if you're looking to wear them casually, don't. <laughs> because they're not the most comfortable to just you know wear around but uh, you don't know until you try right you know the stove's not hot until you burn your fingers here's what we're gonna do right here's my pipeline of content and things that I want to deliver to you there's a giveaway a couple giveaways that I want to kind of crank up for one is gonna be with stance hoops and LCS which is a lace company that's gonna be combined all right so you're gonna be able to win whatever your favorite team is and hopefully they have the matching laces that's going to involve subscribing and all that good stuff so you can check for it on some cross marketing on my ig as well as the youtube um so i got that in the works uh that's one two rejuvenator you clean shoes right you know what i'm saying you want to keep your shoes clean repellent so that if you go out and all of a sudden it starts to rain you don't have soggy shoes and you can kind of have that barrier there to protect you from the elements yeah that company that's going to be a giveaway for you folks and you're gonna be able to get a kit and some other nice trinkets and things like that to kind of take away and all you have to do is you know watch the channel and support easy as that there's another one but i'm going to keep that one under wraps for the time being and uh so you're just gonna have to stay tuned all right keep coming at you keep bringing your hits first looks early looks so that's it y'all i just wanted to give you a quick look at the vapors Kyrie fives show you some b-roll and till next time y'all comment like subscribe and share Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. B-roll.